Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in the mission editor and we're looking at creating a unit that is going to broadcast a radio message either because you want it to actually hear the radio message through the radio of one of your aircraft or whether you want to home in on that radio message for FM homing or AM homing or whatever type of homing you want to do. So let's get to it. First we're going to need to create a ground unit. So ground unit there. Let's plonk him there. Coalition in this case is going to be USA, it's going to be armor, and that's uh, it's already selected as an Abrams, so yep, that's fine, let's make it an Abrams. Uh, so that's all fine, I'm not going to make him do anything, move anywhere, he's just going to sit there and transmit a message on loop. So next, we're going to click add to in advanced waypoints. We're going to click this to perform command, this to set frequency, so before we ask him to transmit we need to set his frequency. Here is, you can set its frequency in megahertz, you can set, set pretty much anything you want, any number you want in here, but it's pointless setting anything. You need to really set stuff, uh, uh, set a frequency that other aircraft will be able to find. So I suggest if you're in the AM modulation here, you're going to set something in the VHF AM modulation or the UHF AM modulation band fre frequency band, which is for VHF that is uh, about 100 to about 150. Uh, to be accurate, I think it's about 118 to 147, I think. And for the UHF, uh, gener generally it's accepted as 225 to 399 megahertz. If you're going to go into the FM modulation, then it's going to be about 30 to about 80, I think it is. I know some vary, Soviets vary slightly, but generally that's what's accepted. So I'm going to make him VHF AM modulation here. Power is the amount of power that you're sending out in watts. I've never had a problem with 10, but there's absolutely no harm in sticking a zero on there and transmit at 100 watts, just to make sure. So that's his frequency set up. Next, we need to add here, and we're going to add the form command again, and we're going to say, uh, you can transmit message here, or you can stop transmission here. We're gonna transmit message. So he needs something to transmit. He needs a WAV file or an MP3 file. So file here, select. And I've got some ones already set up here, so 70s fight, that sounds fun. Um, you can have a subtitle in here if you want, I don't see the point. If you want it looped, and you probably will do, then you can have it looped there. And that's it. That's, that's it done. He is now going to sit there and transmit until he's told otherwise. That 70s fight dot wav on 131 VHF aim modulation. And that's all there is to it. Now, there's just a couple of extra things to bear in mind. A that sometimes, if this always works on single player, sometimes this doesn't work on multiplayer. So I've had multiplayer missions where I've set this up, sometimes it seems to have worked, and sometimes the radio transmission doesn't work on multiplayer. It's just a thing to bear in mind. Maybe it'll get fixed one day, one day maybe it won't. And the other thing to bear in mind is that sometimes it appears to be faction specific. So what I mean by that is, once I was in an MI8 helicopter and trying to home into a frequency, and I couldn't find it for love nor money if it was when it was a USA coalition. But when I changed it to Russia and made it a Soviet T90, all of a sudden it started working. Now I haven't experimented that bit properly, and it may not even be true, but it's just something to bear in mind. If you've tried everything and you can't get this working, try make changing the faction to a relevant faction, a Soviet tank, if you're trying to find it with a Soviet helicopter. Just something I'd like to point out. Right, that's everything I've got to say. Hope that helps, and see you later.